we have been working through problem 72a in part one we solved the problem you doing fifo this is part two we're going to solve this with the lifo method so aberdeen automart uses perpetual inventory system and reports the following transactions and we have to do an inventory record using lifo now if your professor does not provide you with a template now there's a template linked below and there would be linked in my workbook if your professor isn't a nice guy like me and doesn't provide you a template though i show in the last like 30 seconds of the fifo video i show you how to make one of these it takes two seconds to do highly recommend you you make one if you're not being provided provided with the template um let's go though we're doing lifo and the leftmost column is just for the date obviously may 1st the second section we track any purchases well on may 1st we didn't make any purchases we just had a balance forward from last month on may 1st we didn't make any sales we just show a balance forward and that's what the final column is it's a running tally of what we have in inventory we had 20 units at three dollars a unit that's sixty dollars worth of inventory draw a line underneath and carry on to the next i can't find the button to draw a line underneath oh there it is it was hiding on me there we go oh i hit the wrong thing having tech uh, difficulties here it's kind of tricky to lay this out i'm not used to i don't usually work in excel right i work in a different piece of software but that's no problem we'll muddle through here may the 5th we do make a purchase so we're gonna use this column may the 5th we buy five at three dollars 25 cents each five times 3.25 is 16 dollars and 25 cents now may the 5th did i make any sales nope so i have a running tally of what's in my inventory i had 20 units at three dollars unit i still have them so bring it down and now i'm adding to it five at 3.25 for 16.25 i make no attempt to total i just go that's what i've got because again we're doing lifo we got to remember what did we buy first what did we buy second what did we buy third if i tried to combine them i would lose that information so that's not what i want to do here may the 13th we make a sale now lifo says we sold our most recently purchased stuff first so i sold 22 units remember we don't worry about this sales price that's revenue we're interested in cost of goods sold and it's our cost and our cost is tracked here so which 23 or 22 pardon me which 22 units did i sell well i must have sold these ones first because i got rid of the uh newest inventory first five at 325 for 1625 and then again i sold 22 units in total so i must have sold 17 of these 20 that i had there 17 times three it's 51 dollars and what does that leave me with it leaves me with three three dollar units right i had i had five of these i sold five of these i had 20 of these i sold 17 of them leaving me with three and if you got that step you pretty much have lifo dialed we'll make a couple purchases and you'll get another opportunity to try if you're feeling a little shaky here so on may the 20th we purchased seven units at three dollars 55 cents not 350 355 so that's 24.85 i didn't make any sales today so i'm not going to use anything there and i um uh bring down what i already had three at three for nine and now i have seven at 3.55 for 24.85 and that's it again no attempt to combine them no attempt to do any totaling here on may the 24th what happens on may the 24th i buy five more at 3.7 five times 3.7 is 18.5 i had three at three for nine i've added seven at 355 for 24.85 and now i'm adding five at 3.7 for 1850. so again it's just a running tally of what i have I always find when I work in Excel, I might be going too fast and I apologize if I am. You can slow it down though, right? Don't be shy about pausing the video or just playing at a slower speed from going too slow. Don't be shy about using those settings to pay at a faster speed. And if I'm speaking the long, wrong language, I've just learned they, they dub me. There's an AI dubbing, so you can hear me in Japanese if you want. It's pretty exciting. Uh, May the 31st. All right, I sell 11. 
which 11 did I sell? And it's the newest 11. So I sold five at 3.7. That gets me up to five sold. And out of these seven, I must have sold six of these seven, right? To get me up to 11. Six at 3.55. So five times 3.7 is 18.50 6 at 3.55 is 21.30 what does that leave me with well i had three at three dollars i didn't touch those so i still have three at three and of these seven i sold six of them so that leaves me with one at 3.55 for 3.55 now what about this five at 3.7 i sold them all so they're gone so they're not in my ending tally of my inventory and at that point we have completed a beautiful inventory record. We still have to calculate sales, COGS, and gross profit. Our sales, well, can do the math here. 22 times 10 is 220. 11 times 10 is 110. This is $330 in sales, right? 220 plus 110. Our cost of goods sold, just sum up the COGS column. 16 plus 51, 18 plus 21, sum them all up, you get 107. 330 minus 107 sales minus COGS is gross profit. Our gross profit is 222.95. We'll do it as a percentage as well. So divide everything by 330. Of course, 330 divided by 330 is 100%. One is 100%. 107 divided by 330 is 32.4%, and 222 divided by 330 is 67.6%. So we have done parts A, which was prepare this template. Part B, calculate sales, cost of goods sold, and gross profit. Now on to part three or part C, which is do some journal entries. Let me just lay this out, uh, make it look nice. There you go. So uh, it asked us for just May 24th and May 31st. It could ask for all the journal entries, but you know, just to save us time, it only asked for two of them. May 24th, now why didn't it ask for May 5th? I just chose not to, right? If I asked for May 5th, it would be very similar to May 24th. Let's do May 24th though. Uh, May 24th, what happened on May 24th? We bought some inventory, right? There was a purchase of inventory on May 24th. We purchased $18.50 worth of inventory, debit inventory, 18.5 and credit AP. And since it's not made clear, we could also buy our inventory for cash, in which case we would credit cash. Debit inventory, credit AP or cash. And then on May the 31st, what happened? Well, I made a sale. So debit cash or AR if it was on account, and what was my sales revenue on May the 31st? Well, that's, I need this information. I sold 11 units for $10 each. That's a $110 sale that I made. And we credit sales rev, of course, $110. We're gonna debit cost of goods sold and we're gonna credit inventory. And for how much? Well, it's just this amount right here, right? It's May 31st, COGS, 1850 plus 2135. 39.80 and 39.80. And there we have it. We have done all of the relevant journal entries. Now, if it had asked me to do the May 5th journal entry, very easy. Debit inventory, credit cash rate B for 16.25, right? Same journal entry here, right? Purchases are the same. May 20th, debit inventory, credit AP for 24.85. May 24th, debit inventory, credit AP for, we did that one, 18.50. Same thing for the May 13th sale. Our revenue on May 13th was $220. So we would debit AR, credit, sales for 220 and then we would debit cogs credit inventory for 6725 right 16 plus 51 6725 would be our debit to cogs credit inventory if that was asked the only reason we didn't ask is because once you've done like one purchase and one sale it's all the same that's something in accounting right it's when you're doing this on the regular it's it, there is a lot of repetition certainly uh okay so we have solved part two we've done this lifo one more part stay tuned for the weighted average method thanks for watching see you then bye bye
The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.